Hey guys, it's Nick, and it's preview time for the Hawks versus Philly game today at 12 o'clock. And you probably didn't know this, but the Hawks are on a 22 year losing streak in regular season of the Hawks playing in Philadelphia. They have not won a game in Philadelphia since, um, I have to pull this up, November 9th, 1996. Put that in mind. 22 years. The Hawks right now are on a six game losing streak and to be honest, I think it's going to move to 12, to, um, seven tonight, uh, today. Because I just don't know with a new coach and how his the team was running last game against Carolina, it was not working out and in my opinion the Hawks are not going to win this game. That's just how I feel going into this game today. Um but our last time we ever won in Philadelphia came in 2010, game 6, overtime and you know who scored it. And Patrick Kane. The points leaders for the Hawks, it's Kane with 21 points on the season, and the Flyers point leader is Giroux with 19 points this season. Close behind him is Voracek with 16. For Hawks, the uh, second in points is. Alex to bring it with 15. Um, go, uh, if um Brian Elliott is in net, it's sounding like uh, like it's possible that Elliott's playing today. Um, I'm worried because Philadelphia is a good team. They just have the wrong goaltending. But whenever it comes to the Hawks, they don't play well against. Mediocre goaltending this year, if I've noticed. And Elliot has had some highlight moments against the Blackhawks in his career. But how this game is going to be put up, if the Hawks can pull out a win, which is, in my opinion, most likely not going to happen just because... Um, Stan Bowman made a terrible roster, and he fired. Or they fired the wrong guy, and Joel Quinville, and now they have Jeremy Collinton coaching his second career game in the NHL after his first game was a loss. Corey Crawford, on the other hand, most likely is the starter. He has been on a schneid lately, but he could have a bounce back game. His, um, I have to look up the goaltending stats because it's, they faltered the last, um, five games that he's played. Goalies, I'm looking that up, I'm sorry. Corey Crawford's save percentage currently is a 9.04. Zero four and his goals against is a three point oh seven a game. That's not going to be good, but honestly, it has been the defense that's let down Crow. It hasn't really been Crow. I haven't seen a bad goal really given up against him except for two that came in St. Louis, and we aren't going back there. That was oh my god. Right now, Crow's record is a three and three. Five and O, oh, he will have a balance. He'll a crow. I trust him enough to have probably a great game. On the other hand, or up front, I don't know. I just don't know. I really hope Cor uh, Patrick Kane is not playing twenty eight minutes this game. If that is, I'm going to be l literally ticked off. And I'm going to give you a heads up. I will have to probably listen to the game on WGN Radio because 
um, I will be at work and it most likely will be the TV the, it won't be on TV well it's on it's on NHL network but I would want to use the app to actually watch it but there's no TV in my store to heck actually have the game playing during the day so going into this game I'm worried I'm just worried because that means we most likely are going on seven games in a row for losing and that will probably make us we'll probably go 23 years without winning a regular season game in Philadelphia if it actually if the Hawks do win I will be happy trust me and I I'm looking forward for potentially watching it hopefully watching it and or if I can't watch it I always have WGN radio to listen to it and I will check all the highlights of the game have the game recorded see why I want to make sure for my review so on so you guys can have a good review but honestly please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already what your thoughts are on this long losing streak that Hawks are on and most of all let's go Hawks